the metal's gone. So, uh, just finished that now. Rusty hands. Uh, got in contact with a uh, guy though. Didn't have to come far. He lives quite local. And he met me here at uh, quarter past three. So the time now is at quarter past four. Um, so we had to uh, completely load it all on by hand. First off, empty the great big toilet first. So then that could go on. And then everything back in the toilet and uh, all the rest. So it's all gone, happy days. Yeah, so uh, left with a little bit of uh, rubbish that was in the uh, metal plant pot, uh, which he's tipped out, which he didn't want, which is okay. The old smelly, dirty old saw, which I'm sure it'll be, uh, we'll be able to work into the, uh, to the ground somewhere. So I've gotten rid of all my metal, but gained a frying pan. Which is obviously falling out the um, the back of his van. So, um, <laughs> got rid of a load, but gained a tiny little bit. So, what have I been doing this week? Uh, well, uh, nothing on this side. As I said the other day, I was uh, what to prepare our other sites, uh, getting it all up for winter. So, we've done a bit of weeding. Got some. Uh, uh broad beans in and some onion sets so that's what we've done this week uh we've got some grass growing up instead hmm. but the other thing that i've done as can you see it can you see what i've done look at me shed now hey so we're all uh we're all geared up now for the uh, the, the winter winter weather not that we've had a glorious summer, I think we've had quite a wet one, but yeah, there we go. So the shed's all done. And then we come inside, and you say, what's that bit of string for? Well, let's have a look. Let's just uh, use my handy keep door opening device. Genius idea. There's a pattern on that. And so if we see. Undo the uh, shed door. Shed door. Undo the uh, latch. Myth by magic. Look at that. Hey, amazing. And obviously, when the sun sets a little bit lower in the sky and it's coming in, and I'm sat here drinking my tea. A bit. There we go. We can still be nosy neighbours and keep a look on what's going on outside. Let's just cut that. Lock him up. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I've been painting the shed. My nifty hatch. And obviously I've cut a bit of glass. Uh, there's going to be a bit of uh, glass that goes here now. Uh, so in the winter we can still have the hatch open uh, but still retain a little bit of the warmth of the shed which will be nice so that's it really that's been about it for this week not much I know um, but uh, still no Kim which is a shame but never mind keeps me busy poodle along and that is about it. It's time to go home for tea. So, uh, like I say, the good thing is, is like I say, the, 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 the scrap's gone, which is nice. It's not really done a bit yet. That's all the um, celery that was all eaten. Look at the scarecrow over there. It's grown a longer neck so it can look over at our one. <laughs> it's grown a longer neck so you can peep over the fence. It's Steve. No right, Steve. Yeah. He's waving. All right, let's go. So uh, now we get rid of the um, oh, wind. wind. Be walking to the wind. So now we've got rid of the um, the scrap. 
uh, I can concentrate on getting rid of the rest of the rubbish. All the good wood can be stacked across there, and it's a case of uh, going right through them. Obviously, with a rotator or something, and trying to level it all up, then mark out the beds. So, light at the end of the tunnel. So, um, until uh, until next week. Have a good one. See you later. Bye.